Welcome to Precision Balancing in Melbourne, Australia. With the help of our operations manager, Jeff Lay, and our technical consultant, Keith Sherwood, we're going to demonstrate some of the basic principles of industrial balancing. With the aid of this working model, we'll show you how a rotating object behaves in an out-of-balance state and how by either adding or removing weight in a specific location, we can minimise this behaviour and bring it into a state of balance as determined by an international standard. We refer to two main types of out-of-balance, being static and dynamic. Static and dynamic out of balance is uneven mass distribution around the rotational axis of the rotating object. Static out of balance is uneven mass on the rotating object's axis in a single plane, causing the object to fall to the lowest, heaviest position when it settles at the point of rest. Dynamic out of balance is in two planes and can only be detected when the object is rotating and the uneven mass is distributed around the object from one end to the other. We have set our model up in a static out of balance condition and the effects are obvious. Our model weighs 2 kilograms and is only rotating at 50 revs per minute, so you can just imagine the forces involved when we're dealing with large industrial objects rotating at high speed. The correction can be achieved by either adding or removing weight from the object in a specified plane. For this example, we'll add weight. By adding the same weight in the opposite position, we make our correction. When we are balancing a rotating object in the workshop, we use sophisticated equipment to tell us what position and how much weight to remove or add. We achieve the required balancing grade according to the ISO standard and all the details of the job are printed on a certificate for the client. Now let's see the demonstration with the model in a dynamic out of balance state where the imbalance is in two planes and can only be detected when it is rotating. If, for example, what we are seeing was a four-ton pump impeller that has just been cast and machined, you could imagine the wear and damage the out-of-balance impeller would do to associated equipment. We could balance this item by adding or removing weight in the required planes. Some objects, such as rollers for the printing industry, only allow us to remove weight to achieve the required results. In this example, it is done by simply removing weight. A well-balanced object will run smoothly after balancing and, amongst other things, will ensure the longest possible life for the equipment. Now we've come into the workshop facility to inspect some real-life examples. Here we see a 4-metre-long drum roller weighing over 2.5 ton. In this particular instance, we were required to remove weight only from the end plates. This second example is a cast pump impeller weighing over 4 ton. The industrial balancing stage of any project that involves rotating equipment is crucial, whether it be a fan or pump impeller, motor armature, drum roller, chopper or coupling. We take the rotating object that is in an out-of-balance condition and is therefore unserviceable, and we perform the correction and make it serviceable. If you have any questions or need industrial balancing, why not contact us? Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Keith. We'll get back to you shortly for our next informative demonstration, which will feature on-site balancing.